بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Right, so uh, welcome to another session of storytelling uh, where we read stories and just try to understand as much as we can and hopefully build our vocabulary and our listening skills. So we're going to tackle our second story and this story is called As-Sayyadu As-Shuja'a As-Sayyadu As-Shuja'a Basically, As-Sayyadu is a hunter and As-Shuja'a means brave or courageous. So the brave hunter, that's going to be our story today inshallah so as usual just try and listen uh, as much as you can try and imagine the situation as much as you can if you hear a word that you recognize that's good just make note of it uh, maybe you might not understand everything maybe you know some words might be difficult here and there but just the idea is for you to practice listening and so that you can familiarize yourself with spoken arabic and not just you know um, what we read or even the, the pace with which uh, you read Arabic. You know, somebody is usually just reading Arabic in a normal pace. So to get used to just hearing words like that, so you can also build your listening skills as well. Okay, so that's a picture for you there to give you a clue about what is going to, the story, what, what it's all about. Again, it's a very short story, maybe about five minutes, six minutes again. Uh, I wanted... The first class, first sessions to be very short stories, and maybe we'll build up. We'll build up as we go on. We go to ten minutes and fifteen minutes and so on. But for now, we'll stick to the five minute, six minute uh, mark. Okay. Right. Bismillah. So we begin. Uh, remember, I talked about this last time. Fi qadim is zaman. So normally, when the word for once upon a time in Arabic is kan yamakan, that's what our group is called. Kan yamakan, once upon a time. Fi qadim is zaman, long time ago. That's how you say fi qadim is zaman, long time ago. So you'll see this, you'll see either the full version sometimes, or you just see kan yamakan alone, or you just see fi qadim is zaman alone, just like you would see in an English story. Sometimes they say once upon a time, sometimes they say long, long ago. You know, same thing. Yeah. Okay. So fi qadim is zaman. عاش ملك ظالم كان الشعب يخاف من الملك لأن الملك يقتل الناس كان الملك يحب نفسه كثيرا وفي يوم من الأيام قرر الملك أن يبني تمثالا لنفسه تمثالا لنفسه I'm going to give you a clue here so that maybe you can have an idea تمثال means a statue okay. so أن يبني تمثالا لنفسه أمر الملك العمال أن يبنوا تمثالا ضخما بنى العمال بنى العمال التمثال وضع الملك التمثال في الميدان العام يقع الميدان العام في العاصمة نظر الملك إلى التمثال this is a typo تمثال كان الملك سعيدا جدا قال الملك إنه تمثال لرجل قوي ووسيم انظروا إليه وضع الملك قباعته فوق التمثال أمر الملك الناس أن ينحنوا, أن ينحنوا للتمثال كان الناس يمشون أمام التمثال كان الناس ينحنون دائما جاهد الملك الناس شعر الملك بالسعادة وفي يوم من الأيام مشى رجل في الميدان العام لم ينحن الرجل للتمثال صاح عسكري أنت أيها الرجل لماذا لا تنهني لتمثال الملك؟ غضب الرجل وقال ولماذا أنحني لتمثال؟ هذا عمل سخيف أنا لن أنحني أبدا صاح العسكري سوف يعلم الملك الملك سوف يقتلك لم يرد الرجل على العسكري عاد الرجل إلى بيته سمع الملك بعسيان الرجل فغضب قرر الملك أن يعاقب الرجل أرسل الملك عسكريا إلى بيت, إلى بيت الرجل كان الرجل يعيش في قرية بعيدة كان الرجل صيادة 
كان الرجل يصيد الطيور والحيوانات بالسهم This is a typo, it's supposed to be بالسهم كان الصياد رجلا فقيرا كان الصياد يعيش مع زوجته وابنه في بيت صغير أمر الملك العسكري أن يحضر الصياد وابنه أخذ الملك ابن الصياد أمر الملك ابن الصياد أن يقف في الميدان وضع الملك تفاحة فوق رأس الإبن كان الملك يضحك أمر الملك الصياد أن يصيب التفاحة بسهم رفض الصياد صاح الصياد يا مولاي سوف أصيب أي شيء تريد أنا لن, أصي... أنا لن أصيد التفاحة أرجوك يا مولاي ضحك الملك وقال أريد أن تصيب التفاحة إن كنت صيادا ماهرا سوف تصيد التفاحة هل تعلم؟ أنت فقير جدا لأنك صياد فاشل هيا أريد أن تصيب التفاحة كان الصياد خائفا نظر الصياد إلى ابنه قال الصياد أنا لا أستطيع سوف أصيب ابني قال الملك هذا ما أريده كل هذا كي تتعلم الإنحناء انحني للتمثال وسوف أعفو عنك غضب الصياد ووقف ثم قال لا أنا لست عبدا أنا حر سوف أسيد التفاح وقف الصياد في وسط الميدان كان الإبن يبكي ابتسم الإبن عندما وقف أبوه كان الناس مجتمعون كان الشعب يشاهد, يشاهد ما يحدث رفع الصياد سهمه وقوسه نظر الصياد إلى ابنه شد الصياد السهم أطلق الصياد السهم أصاب الصياد التفاح صاح الشعب بفرح جار الإبن إلى أبيه وهو يضحك عانك الصياد ابنه غضب الملك وقال حسنا اذهب الآن ارجع إلى قريتك البعيدة ارجع إلى بيتك, بيتك الصغير الكريه لا أريد أن أراك في هذا الميدان مرة أخرى إذا رأيتك هنا سوف أقتلك وسوف أقتل ابنك القبيح أمسك الصياد يد ابنه مشى الصياد مع ابنه سقط سهم من ثياب الصياد رأى الملك السهم سأل الملك الصياد لماذا تحمل هذا السهم؟ أخذ الصياد السهم من الأرض وقف الصياد أمام الملك ترك الصياد يد ابنه نظر الصياد إلى الملك الظالم وهو غاضب أجاب الصياد أنا أحمل هذا السهم لهدف واحد كي أقتل الظالم أطلق الصياد السهم على الملك أصاب السهم رأس الملك مات الملك الظالم صمت صمت الشعب نظر الشعب إلى الملك الميت صاح الشعب بفرح أنقذ الصياد بلاده من الظلم حطم الشعب تمثال الملك الظالم عاد الصياد الشجاع إلى قريته That's pretty much the end of our story As you can tell the short one uh, I know there's some very new vocabulary in there you know سهم uh, a lot of other things but the, the thing is that they keep repeating so inshallah because they keep repeating you get the idea anybody uh, who understand understood anything there they would like to just tell us a little bit of what they understood it doesn't have to be everything yes Saima means a long time ago there was a very oppressive or evil king and mm -hmm. uh, he wanted his statue so somebody made his statue and he made kept that statue in a like general ground jo public ke liye, that was for public mm -hmm. and uh, something the people have to do either they have to go to that statue or something they have to do uh -huh. i didn't get that part <laughs> then uh, a man came from a far off village and people told them to do the bowing part or whatever it was he said Ki, no i won't do that so and he went back to his place when king heard about this he got very angry and he called that hunter 
and what the king used to do he used to keep the apple on the head of the statue and i think he used to shoot arrows at them so when the king got angry and he called the hunter he called his son also and the king told him do the bowing so he said no i won't do it so he made the son of the hunter to stand there in place of statue and kept the apple on his on his head and then he told the hunter if you want your son or if you want the apple you have to shoot the arrow so initially he was hesitant but then he shot the arrow and uh, he got the apple so uh, like everyone was very happy and he was going back but there was something sahma he was carrying so king asked him why you are carrying this sahma so he the hunter he was like very angry because he didn't like the king so he was like hey, this is to kill the evil persons or the oppressors and he killed the king and i think the people then they became happy and he went uh, the hunter went with his son to his uh, village yeah so that's the gist of it i mean you're going to see as we as we discuss the story you know a few things here and there that maybe you missed out or a few corrections here and there but basically that's the gist of the story that's what happened okay beautiful anybody else wants to add anything maybe uh, do we but that was pretty much uh, the summary of the entire story nicely done okay now let's let's try bring everything together and, and see what each sentence means so fi qadim zaman you already know what that means i've explained it several times عاش ملك ظالم عاش to live lived so the way we say long time ago lived an uh, an evil king or an oppressive king that's basically what's being said here okay كان الشعب so the people the, another word for people is شعب so you have ناس قوم شعب all these means groups of people okay so these are they're called uh, um اسم جمع I think Groups, basically words that denote groups. Okay, so شعب, قوم, ناس. كان الشعب يخاف من الملك. They used to be afraid of him. So the people used to be afraid of the king or they used to fear the king. لأن الملك يقتل الناس. Because the king used to kill people. Okay. كان الملك يحب نفسه كثيرا. The king used to like, he loved himself so much. He loved himself. وفي يوم من الأيام This is just a phrase which means one day or one of the days. But one day is a pretty, uh, you know, okay translation. It's, it's good. وفي يوم من الأيام So one day قرر الملك أن يبني تمثالا لنفسه The king قرر decided So the king decided to build for himself a statue. Okay, so that's how it kind of comes together. لِنَفْسِهِ تِمْتَالًا He decided to build for himself a statue. أَمَرَ الْمَلِكُ الْعُمَّالَ أَنْ يَبْنُوا تِمْتَالًا وَضَخْمًا The king, الْمَلِكُ, أَمَرَ commanded, the king commanded, الْعُمَّالَ مَفْعُلْ بِهِ So he commanded the workers, like from عَمِلَ يَعْمَلُ So الْعُمَّال is the exaggerative form of that. So these are workers, people who work all the time. They're called Umman. Okay. So the king ordered the workers to build an yabnu timthalan vakhman. Timthal vakhman is not so sifa. Vakhman means huge or wide or big. So he ordered the workers to build for him a huge statue. Bana al timthal. The workers, bana, build. التمثال, the statue وضع الملك التمثال في, المد, في الميدان العام the king وضع placed or put the statue in the general square or the public square or the arena public arena or public ground you know yeah any one of those you understand most, most towns like have like, like a gathering place so that gathering place is basically where he put the statue يقع الميدان العام في العاصمة. The general ground or the public square uh, is or 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 cars or is found. You can even say uh, في العاصمة in the capital city. عاصمة is the capital city. So like we say عاصمة this country is this and this country. For example, uh, عاصمة Pakistan is Karachi, right? So something like that. 
capital city. نظر الملك إلى التمثال. The king نظر looked إلى التمثال. He looked at the statue. كان الملك سعيدا جدا. The king was very happy. سعيدا happy. Was very happy. قال الملك. You know قال الملك. Very common. إنه تمثال لرجل قوي ووسيم. إنه certainly no doubt it is a statue لرجل قوي ووسيم. Of a man that is strong and handsome. I mean, he was very proud of himself. He looked at the statue and was like, look at it. It's so handsome and beautiful and strong. Look at it. He was telling everybody, look at it. How beautiful it is. The king put again. See, it's coming back. So when you hear these words that keep repeating, you should automatically try and connect it to the meaning. So what the al-maliku, the king put or the king placed kubba'atahu, his hat. So kubba'a is a hat. And then who is the attached pronoun? So his hat, his hat, fawqa timthal, on top of the statue. Amar al-maliku nasa an yanhanu li timthal. Again, amara, command. So the king commanded the people and yanhanu li timthal. So this is a new word, yanhanu. Uh, in Hana Yanhani, this is family seven. Uh, it's Naqis. So this means to bow. So to bow yourself, to uh, to bow yourself in front of something that would be uh, in Hana Yanhani. So an Yanhanu, it's light. It was Yanhanuna, but then because of an, it became Yanhanu. So he commanded the the people to bow in front of. The statue, or to bow before the statue. كان الناس يمشون أمام التمثال. The people كان يمشون يمشي مشى يمشي to walk or pass by. So the people used to walk in front of أمام التمثال in front of the statue. كان الناس ينحنون دائما. The people used to bow always. دائما is a word for always. So all the time when the people pass by the statue. They used to bow at it always or before it. Shahad al Malikun Nas. The king saw the people. Like he used to see them when they were doing this. Yeah. Shahar al Maliku bis Saada. Shahara to feel. Shahara yashuru. Ashuru, I feel. So Shahar al Maliku, the king felt. He felt happiness. Bis Saada, he felt happiness. He felt so happy. Wafi yomin min al ayam. Again, this is a very common phrase. One day, وفي يوم من الأيام, one day, مشى رجل في الميدان. Again, مشى يمشي. So, يمشونا is plural. مشى الرجل is the outside doer. So, a man uh, walked by or passed by uh, or was walking في الميدان العام, at the public square or the public ground or the general ground, whatever you want to call it. لم يمحني الرجل للتمثال. The man did not bow. Before the statue, صاح عسكري, one of the guards, he screamed at him, he shouted at him, أنت أيها الرجل, you, you man over there, okay? أيها الرجل basically is like a formal uh, uh, type of calling, like, yeah, أيها الرجل, you over there, man. لماذا لا تنحني لتمثال الملك, لتمثال الملك? Why are you not... Bowing before the king's statue. الرجل, the man got angry and said, وقال, And why would I prostrate before a statue? Why would I do that? ولماذا? Why should I do that? هذا عمل صغير. This is something stupid. Like this is, this is a, a stupid thing to do. You know, that's basically what he said. عمل صاخف. عمل is is something to do, is amal. Work, basically, is something you do. So it's called amal. Sakhif means stupid. So this is something stupid to do. Or you can just say, this is a stupid thing. I will never bow before it. Or I will never bow. Then the, the guard shouted, The king is going to know about this. 
The king is going to kill you. لم ي... لم يرد الرجل على الأسكري. Now here is interesting because رد يرد. This is مضاعف. The last letter is doubled. So and we learned in مضاعف that there are three forms of commands or مجزوم versions. There are three forms of مجزوم. So رد يرد. So to be يرد يردي. Well, without the if you're making it just مجزوم. يرد يردي and يردد. Okay. But here they are using the Yaruddi version. You can see that. لم يرد الرجل على الأسكري. The man did not respond to the guard. So ردة to respond. The man did not respond to the guard. عاد الرجل إلى بيتي. عاد to return. عاد يعود to return. So the man returned to his house. سمع الملك بحسيان الرجل. The king had. سمع يسمع. This is the family. So the king had. بعصيان الرجل عصيان you can say defiance or rebellion rebelliousness I don't know so re rebellion and defiance I think works well here so the king had of the man's defiance or the man's rebellion فغضب so he got mad قرر الملك أن يعاقب الرجل the king decided قرر this is an important one to know so the king decided أن يعاقب الرجل to punish the man. أرسل الملك عسكريا إلى بيت الرجل. The king sent. أرسل يرسل to send. Like رسول is someone who is sent. Yeah. So أرسل. That's the family. Of course, this is family one. Uh, so the the اسم مفعول would be مرسلون. Mursalun, sorry. Mursalun is the same as Rasul. Mursalun and Rasul mean the same thing. The one who is sent. Uh, so, Arsal al Malik wa Askariyan ila bayti rajul. The king sent a guard to the man's house. Kan al Rajulu yaishu fi qariyatin ba'ida. The man used to live, yaishu, asha yaishu. The man used to live fi qariyatin ba'ida in a far away village. كان الرجل صيادا. The man was a hunter. صياد hunter. كان الرجل يصيد الطيور والحيوانات بالسهم. The man used to hunt birds and animals with his arrow. A sahm is an arrow. So he was a hunter. He used arrows to hunt. Okay. كان الصياد رجلا فقيرا. The hunter was a very poor man. Was a poor man. فقير, we know that. فقراء, فقير. فقراء is basically the plural of فقير. كان الصياد يعيش مع زوجته وابنه في بيت صغير. The hunter used to live, again, عاش يعيش. He used to live with his wife and his son in a very tiny house. أمر الملك العسكري أن يحضر الصياد وابنه. The king commanded, again, the, the guard, أن يحضر, to bring the hunter and his son. أخذ الملك بن الصياد. The king took, أخذ يأخذ, to take. So the king took the, the hunter's son. أمر الملك بن الصياد أن يقف في الميدان. The king commanded the hunter's son to stand uh, في الميدان. At the square or in the square. Okay. وضع الملك تفاحة فوق رأس الابن. The king وضع, again placed, put. The king placed or put a تفاحة, an apple, فوق رأس الابن. On top of the son's uh, head. So he, he grabbed him, made him to stand in, front, in, in the square and put an apple on his head. كان الملك يضحك. The king was laughing. كان الملك يضحك. The king was laughing. أمر الملك الصيادة أن يصيب التفاحة بسهم. So the king was basically making fun of the hunter. And he was like, okay. The king commanded the hunter أن يصيب التفاحة بسهم. To basically shoot, shoot the, um, the apple with his arrow. رفض الصياد. رفض يرفض to refuse. So رفض الصياد. The hunter refused. صاح الصياد. The, the hunter screamed or shouted. 
لا يا مولاي نو ماي ماستر لا يا مولاي مولا بلس يا سنة لا يا مولاي سوف أصيب أي شيء تريد I will hunt anything you want basically or shoot at anything you want أنا لن أصيد التفاح I will not hunt the apple I will not shoot at the apple أرجوك يا مولاي please my master my مولاي ضحك الملك the king laughed وقال أريد أن تصيب التفاح I want you to, to shoot at the apple إن كنت صيادا ماهرا سوف تصيد التفاح If truly you are a, a good hunter or you're a, you're a ماهر is basically a, an experienced let's say an experienced hunter سوف تصيد التفاح You would hit the apple You shoot at the apple هل تعلم? Do you know? You know something? Like when you say هل? Do you, do you know something? هل تعلم? أنت فقير جدا لأنك صياد فاشل. You are a very poor man because you are a fashion means like a loser. So you're like a loser hunter. You're not, you're not really good at what you do. You keep losing. Every time you shoot, you keep losing. And that's why you're so poor. So he's, he's mocking him. Yeah. Hiya, go on. أريد أن تصيب التفاح. I want you to hit the apple. كان الصياد خائفا. The hunter was scared. نظر الصياد إلى ابنه. He looked at his son. قال الصياد. The hunter said. أنا لا أستطيع. سوف أصيب ابني. I can't. I will hit my son. قال الملك. هذا ما أريده. كل هذا. كي تتعلم الإنحاء. كي تتعلم الإنحاء. This is exactly what I want. All of this is all I want. So that you may learn how to bow before the statue, basically. Al-inha is a master bowing. So that you may learn bowing. Inhani lil-timthal wa sawfa a'fu ank. If you want, so that, that's probably missing, but it's understood. Like, if you want, you could just bow before the statue and I'll forgive you. So inhani is a command. Like, bow. Before the statue, وسوف أعفو عنك. And I will pardon you. Okay, so أعفو, we, this is a dua we make to Allah all the time. So I will pardon you or I'll, I'll forgive you. غضب الصياد. And then the hunter got mad. He got angry and he stood up. Then he said, ثم قال, لا, أنا لست عبدا. No, I am not a slave. أنا حر. I am free. سوف أصيد التفاح. I will shoot the apple or I will hit the apple. وقف الصياد في وسط الميدان. The, the hunter stood in the middle of the ميدان, the open ground or the public ground. كان الابن يبكي. The son was crying before. The ابتسم الابن عندما وقف أبوه. Then the son smiled when he saw his dad standing. Because he knows his dad is a good hunter, right? So he was happy. He's, he started smiling. كان الناس مجتمعون. The people were gathered. اجتمع يجتمعوا to gather. So the people were gathered. Basically, there was a crowd. كان الشعب يشاهد ما يحدث. The people were witnessing what was happening. شاهد يشاهد to witness or to see. رفع الصياد سهمة وقوسة. رفع يرفع to lift. Okay. So the hunter lifted his sahma is an arrow, where qawsa is his bow. So he lifted his bow and arrow. Nadar al-sayyadu ila ibni. He looked at his son. Shadda al-sayyadu sahm. He straightened the arrow. Atlaq. So shadda is to straighten. Okay. Shadda al-sayyadu sahm. He straightened the arrow. Atlaq al-sayyadu sahm. Atlaq is to shoot, to let loose. Okay, so talaqa yatluku is to let to some to let somebody go. So atlaqa is the Aslama family. So again, also to just let let loose basically. So he let loose the saham, the arrow. Asab sayyadu tufaha. The hunter hit the apple. Saha shabu bifarahim. Everybody was happy, overjoyed. Everybody was screaming with joy. Saha to scream or to shout. Everybody was shouting. With joy, بفرحين, with joy or with happiness. جرى الابن إلى به جرى يجري. I think we also looked at this uh, sometime back. To run, 
So Jara al-Ibn ila abihi, the son ran to his father. Wa huwa yadhak while he was laughing. This is the jumla haliya. Wa huwa yadhak. Aanaka sayyadu ibna. Aanaka to embrace, to hug. So the hunter hugged his son. Qadib al-Malik wa qal. The king got angry and said, Hasanan, okay. Idhab al-an. Go away now. Irja'a ila qaryatika al-ba'ida. Go to your faraway village. ارجع إلى بيتك الصغير الكريه. Go to your uh, small. So كريه is despised, is hated, or disgusting, ugly. All those are just meanings of كريه. So كريه يكره to hate something. So when you describe something as كريه, it is something that is hated, something that is despised, something that is ugly and disgusting. Okay. So the the king is telling him. Go to your disgusting little house. Go. لا أريد أن أراك في هذا الميدان مرة أخرى. I don't want to see you in this square any another time. I don't want to see you at all here. إذا رأيتك هنا, if I see you here, سوف أقتلك. I will kill you. وسوف أقتل ابنك القبيح. And I will kill your ugly son. القبيح means ugly. So that's vocabulary for you. You know, if somebody asks you Arabic, you're like, yeah, I know, قبيح. I know how to insult you. So, Ibn Akal Qabih means ugly. Wasim, we also looked at Wasim in this chapter. So, Wasim means handsome. Al Qabih means ugly. So, those are opposite. He created a statue and he, he said to himself, Oh, this is a strong, handsome statue. Remember? Qawiyun wa Wasimun. And now we are seeing the opposite of that Al Qabih, which means ugly. Amsaka Sayyadu Yadabni. The hunter held his son's hand. Masha sayyadu ma'abni. They started walking. So the hunter and his son started walking. Saqata sahmun min thiyab sayyad. An arrow fell down from the hunter's clothes. Ra'a al-maliku sahm. The king saw the, the, the arrow. Sa'al al-maliku sayyad. Then the king asked the hunter, Limada tahmilu hadha sahm? Why are you having this arrow? Why are you holding this arrow? Akhada sayyadu sahm min al-ard. The hunter grabbed the arrow from the earth uh, after the, it fell down. So the, the hunter grabbed it from the or took it from the earth. And then he stood in front of the king. He looked straight at him. He let go of his son's hand. He looked at the evil, at the treacherous, at the oppressing king. While he was mad. Ajab al-Sayyad. And then he said, or he answered, or he responded, Ana ahmilu hadha sahm li hadafin wahidin. I am carrying this arrow for one and one goal and only one goal. Kay aqtul al So that I could kill the oppressor. Atlaqa al-Sayyad al-Sahma ala al-Malik. And then he let loose. Remember, atlaqa yutlaqu. Yutlaqu. Atlaqa yutlaqu. Uh, he let loose the arrow, Al uh, Malik. He let he let loose. He basically pointed it at the Malik, uh, the king, and then he let it go. Malik. The arrow hit the king's head. Al Malik The king died. The oppressive king died. Shab. Everyone was quiet. Like the audience just went silent. Everyone looked at the dead king. Then everybody shouted with joy. The hunter rescued his basically country or towns. Bilad is plural for balad, uh, which is country. And sometimes it's actually used for singular country. Bilad and Balad, sometimes they mean the same thing, country. So he saved his country from oppression. Hattama, to break into pieces. Like Hattama is to break. Okay. But Hattama, like we, in family too, it means like they broke it into tiny, tiny pieces. They completely broke it. So the people completely broke the statue of the oppressive king. So the, the brave hunter returned to his village.
that's the end of the story. All right, I hope uh, it was clear enough, inshallah, and also entertaining because that's the whole point of this. So um, I'm going to go through it and pick out some of the words that I feel like are new or maybe difficult. And then I'll do the vocabulary again, and then you can go through it. But before that, I think we can do the reading comprehension test. Let's see if we actually understood. Okay. So, what do you guys think? The capital city. We said that the, the general or the public square is located uh, in the capital city. القصر, I don't know the meaning of Saha, but something to do with the palace. I will check this out and add it in the vocabulary list. And then you Staha have Qari. is like um, yes. a playground. Playground. Play okay. okay, good. Yeah. I did not know that. Thank you for that. So like Sahat al-Qasr would be like the, the, the playground of the palace or the grounds of the palace, maybe. Qariyatin Jabaliya, a mountainous village. Jabaliya, having Jabals, having mountains. So that would be that. Okay. وضع الملك فوق التمثال قميصه رداءه قبعته. What did he put? فوق التمثال. Yes. قبعته. قميصه his clothes or his garment. رداء. I don't know what this is. Maybe um, I don't want to guess. But this is something I would also check. Shawl or something like his uh, draping. Draping. Okay. Like a shawl okay. uh, kind of thing. Huh. Like, uh... Okay, maybe. I, I don't know. That's something I need to... I've never had that word before. Interesting. Okay. What did he put? Something فوق رأس ابن الصياد. What did he put? تفاحة قباعة تاجن. تفاحة. تفاحة. An apple. قباعة, we just covered this, is the hat. Taj is a crown. I think it's a very common also. I think it should be there in Urdu. Taj. Sounds like a yes. word that could be there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sakata dash min malabis is sayyad. Kausun, hajarun, sahmun. 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 Yes. So what fell from the hunter's uh, clothes? So something fell down from his clothes. It was uh, an arrow. Hajar means stone. Qawsun means bow. Arada sayyadu an dash al-malik. An yagrib al-malik. An yaqtul al-malik. An yahbis al-malik. An yaqtul al-malik. Yeah, he wasn't messing around. Like, he was going for it. Okay. Um, I think a yahbisa is to capture or to hold to take somebody into captivity. Uh, yadrib, you know Yadrib. Aksu kalimat, kalimat qabih. I already explained this. I didn't know it was coming. So is it jameel? Is it tawil? Is it qasir? Jameel. Jameel. Yeah. We said aks means opposite. Aks. So what is the opposite of the word qabih? Qabih means ugly. So we're looking for beautiful. So it could be Jamil or it could be handsome. Jamil means beautiful. Handsome means wasim. Yeah. Tawil, long, qasir, short. Ma'ana kalimati hadaf. What is the meaning of hadaf? Aqarab, fahdun, rama. Ah, let's see. Gharab? Yes, gharab. So, gharab also means uh, hadaf. This word actually came in a ta'bir al Qurani, uh, where he, our goal is not to explain everything, but just to, you know, like focus on some examples. Gharabana. Uh, yeah. So, it means go. Um, Rama is to shoot, I think. Fahd, I'm not so sure what this is. That's something else I need to find out. Aksu kalimati abd. Everyone should know this. Abd. But the opposite of abd. Khadim tif hur. Hur. 
Yes. Yeah. So Abd is somebody who is enslaved, a slave. Khadim is a servant. Okay. So it basically means almost the same thing. Servant and slave. Close. Tifl is a child. Baby. Her free. So slave and free. Ma'ana kalimatin. Kalimati anik. Anaka. Sorry. Anaka. Dhamma. Aqna'a. Amda. To be honest with you, I'm not so sure what word is. Aqna'a would be to convince. I don't know what dhamma means. It sounds like maybe it's this one. I don't know. Honestly, let's. So what do you guys tell me which one to pick? If it's wrong, answer won't let us go. So. Okay, so you guys said akna, let's try that. No. So I think it's dhamma, yeah. Yeah. Because akna'a means to convince. Like arada Ibrahim and yuqni'a. Remember that story in the reader? Ibrahim wanted to convince his people uh, not to worship. And of course, amda, uh, to pass. Mother yamdi. Then you take it to the um, Aslama family, amda. So I think it's from like in the imam to uh, like uh, incorporate something. So it's like the uh, anaka, like embracing in dhamma. Oh, I don't know that word in dhamma, honestly. Or oh, you're saying, like, okay, this one, like if you put it in the uh, infa'ala family. Okay. Ah, hmm. That's a new word. Something yeah, that... like, you know, incorporated something too. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I need, I need to search more about this one. That was my first guess. Uh, but I don't know more about it. It's just a, an informed, like, uh, a guess based on elimination because I knew these two could not be it, so I went for that one. Yeah. But I will find out more information. And then lastly, we have Atsu Kalimati Fariha. Fariha. Hafara, Hazina, Haza. Hazina. 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 So Fariha to be happy, Hazina to be sad. Hafara uh, is, is in this to dig. And Haza. I don't know what haza is. Yeah, so then some pretty interesting words in the questions here. The the story itself did not have any difficult words, at least for me, but in the in the questions, I'm seeing words that I am not familiar with. But alhamdulillah, 10 out of 10, not bad. Okay, so um basically that's our story. We're pretty much done. So I don't know if they, anybody with any questions or any suggestions or any comments, uh, this this will be the time. So that's the image you... Askerion? Askerion? Yeah. Never. Yeah, that's a, a guard or a police. But because this is, you know, like the context of a king, kings have guards. So here you can use Askeri for guard. So it's like, uh, that is like, yainisba, that is making it adjective or it is the part of the word itself? Yeah, I think it's just the word askariyun. It's singular askariyun. Asakira would be the plural. You can also say like soldier. Oh yeah, or oh, soldier, yes. Soldier or oh, guard. That works better in a kingdom. Yeah, but in modern day, it would be police. Uh, the two that I've underlined here. Mm -hmm. Honey and in honey. Why is mm -hmm. there a, a yeah at the end? Okay. So this is Naqis. We haven't actually done that in the in the self studies yet. But Naqis, what happens is in the Mahdi, it's uh, it has different forms. So you have like Hada. You have da'a, you have shaqiya, you have uh, as, um, sa'a. That's ma uh, that's madi. But in the mudari, especially in the big families, the ya comes back. So in this case, we have family seven in hana, which is like in qalaba. So in hana, but because it's naqis, the last letter is just alif maqsura. So in hana, yan hani, the ya comes back. In hana, yan hani. But and and here, uh, the second one that you underlined basically, lan yan haniya, because of lan it made it light. So that's why there's a fatha there, lan yan haniya. Oh, that's clear. 
to yes. bow to 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 bow I, I don't know if there's another word for that to just bow yeah any other questions if you need me to go down or you need me to go up or to clarify something uh inna this inna structure in the mm -hmm. salon this line in so the uh, uh, yeah, that line only. Just little up, up, up. Up, yeah? Uh, this line, yeah. Come more, uh -huh. uh, like, right side. Okay. Yeah. Inna hu okay. So I want to add this in this inna structure. I know this who or some pronoun has to be attached to make a nisam of inna. Mm -hmm. uh, but my question is, ki if uh, can, can't we make timsal itself the ism of inna? Like inna timsalan, like that? Yeah, you Why can if you if you want to say that, if you want to say the statue, no doubt the statue or like sometimes inna, by the way, we don't translate it actually. Like it could be just a, a word that opens a st sentence, like starts a sentence, like the way they use wa and the way they use fa. So these words sometimes are not even translated. Uh, so you could just say it is, it is a statue. It is a statue of a man. So that's what they want to say here. It is a statue. If you want to say um, a statue is of a man, then that's also something you can say. Because it depends. If you make it, if you make timthalun, the isim of inna, then it's going to be a statue is of a man. You see the difference? As yeah. opposed to if I say it is a statue. Yeah. Yeah. To uh, go down, I think mm -hmm. there was a command word, but could it be this one? A command, could you it remember the meaning? Have a sukun. It didn't, it didn't have a sukun, yeah. so I'm just wondering whether it, oh, was... it, it probably had a kasra, right? That's what I'm trying to see, that's what I'm trying to find. Did it have a kasra? My mind is saying it had a satha. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Probably it was part of the conversation. So anything where there was a conversation. In honey, maybe this one. Yes. But that has a kastra, so that's the joining one. So that's okay. This is actually right? not joining one. Um, this is Nakas. Nakas is a monster like this. It's just, it, it has its own rules. It does what it wants. Uh, okay, not what it wants, but according to its own rules, basically. So it was supposed to be yen hani. Remember, there was a ya here. So mm -hmm. when they made it a command, they decided, you, you know what, let's just get rid of the weak letter. Bye bye, ya, bye bye, wow. So you're you're left with in hani. Bye bye. So it's not a joining kasra. It's not like oh. manil. It's not like that. No, this one is part of the word. This one is not a joining kasra. Oh, okay. For Nakis, yeah. But uh, we can look for the joining one. I think I also saw it somewhere. Um, Here is Habil al-An. Uh, where is that? Go up. It's Habil al-An, yes. Yes, so exactly. Yeah, this is a joining kasra. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, any other question before we end? Yeah, it was a pretty epic story. I wasn't uh, expecting, you know, the hunter to kill the king at the end. I know. That was an interesting uh, twist of the story. Me too. I did uh, expect that when I was reading it the first time. I was like, okay, this is a nice, uh, like he freed everyone. So it's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um. If, the, if there's nothing else, I think we can end there. Today was a slightly shorter session, which is good because uh, I think the the story was shorter and enjoyable. That's the the end uh, goal. So that when you encounter some of this word like saham, 
Saham was repeated so much in this uh, story that I think that's a word that you'll never forget because Saham, bo- every time you hear Saham, you, you see an arrow just being flying into the king's head <laughs> or, you know, some of these words that kept on repeating. So it should be a good um, practice. Yes, Saima. How will say he, he freed everyone? So they, they use the word Ankada to save. Ankada Yunkido? Save. No, there was this word now, opposite of freedom, of opposite of Abdul. Harru, I am Harru. So, uh, like I am free. That's like, um, it's a word. But as a verb, uh, I don't know the verb of it. Maybe we can check out the verb. I'm not so sure. What the verb is. Is it harra ya hurru? Something I need to confirm. Yeah, harra ya hurru. Oh, this is to be hot. Okay. Or if you put it in the aslam, so harrara, basically. Harrara is to free. So harrara, that's how you would use it. Harrara shabu or harrara an nasu. Everyone? Or, or in this case, maybe Harrara Rajulu uh, and Nasa. Like the man saved the people. But how will you say everyone? Like Kullu something? So you, uh, how what do you want to say exactly? You want to say that everyone. the past, the, everyone. the, word the hunter everyone. saved everyone or freed everyone. Is that what no, you want to say? I, I, everyone. I want the word for everyone. How will you say everyone? In Arabic. Oh, everyone. Uh, nas. You can say kullu nas or uh, kull can be like a mudaf. Kulluhum ajma ajma'un. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, after kullu, we'll place whatever we want. Mm-hmm. Yes. Kullu sha'ab, kullu nas. But again, kullu, it depends what role it does in the sentence. So if it is a, a, a maf'ul bihi, it's going to be kulla. If it's a jar majroor, it's going to be kulli. So de- depending on what role it's playing in the sentence. Mm-hmm. I've also heard... Yes? Sorry. You read her as her, not her run. Okay, in the story? Is just the reading? Yeah, is that just the reading? Yeah, you can say ana hur. Like when you're stopping, uh, you don't have to say ana hur run. You know, okay. like you don't have to pronounce the tanween on the last haraka. Yeah. Uh, so you have to be very careful sometimes. Like we don't, when, like for example here, uh, I wouldn't say, وَسَوْفَ أَقْتُلُ بْنَكَ الْقَبِيحَ Most of the time when people are speaking, you will hear, you'll hear them say, وَسَوْفَ أَقْتُلُ بْنَكَ الْقَبِيحَ So they will just pause at the last haraka and not say. Same thing with أَنَا حُرٌ I won't say أَنَا حُرٌ I'll just say أَنَا حُر أَنَا عبد Not أَنَا عبدٌ yeah, even though we know that's a khabar and it's supposed to be heavy if there's no reason for it to be light. light. Yeah. With the uh, maratan ukhra, you would always say maratan ukhra. Yeah. So the thing is with uh, tamar buta, if you either say marra ukhra or you, if you're going to pronounce the tamar buta, you have to say maratan ukhra. So there are two ways of saying that. You can say marra ukhra or marratan ukhra. But it is advised to actually pronounce the tamar buta. So marratan ukhra is better. If marra was coming at the end of the sentence without the ukhra, yeah. then we yeah, could have just said marra. Yes, you just say marra. Exactly. Yeah, so you start picking up these few things here and there. You, you start to understand how to you start hearing these words actually which is good and maybe one day we'll just do hearing without the visual because I know this visual helps a lot because when you're reading and you see Rajul and you're like oh I know Rajul <laughs> at least I know that word or you know you see Kana I know Kana I know Anasu but maybe one day we'll just we'll reach a point where we just play an audio and we listen inshallah one day that will be the goal yeah. Um, any other thing? Uh, 
All right. I think we can end there. So to say, Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.